Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for this abundance, provision in many and various ways that we call Mary Kay. I thank you for the ladies that have gathered together tonight to support, encourage, to learn from each other, but also to invest in themselves, to use the talents that they've been given to fertilize the soil of their brains and of their talents to help it grow to be more fruitful. Lord, I ask that you would bless our, our, the words of us teachers tonight. Help us to be able to find ways to communicate. But Lord, I just thank you for this time together and help us as business owners to build our businesses to your glory and our good. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, and with that, we are going to turn it over to Miss Judy to get it started tonight. Oh, I am so excited. Of course, th to me, there's not any time at all, like the time preceding seminar, during seminar, and following seminar, because it's when we all are thinking a little bit more out of the box, perhaps, than we do at other times, because it's not routine. And this year being a virtual seminar truly was not routine. <laughs> I just have to really commend the company for what they did. Yes, apparently most of the world has heard that Thursday night did not work out very well. Mm -hmm. But when you consider that there were 67,000 people getting on computers and part of, and it was five, 5.30 Central Time, so Kathy, that made it about 3.30 your time, didn't it? And about 6.30 the East Coast. But a lot of times there were still people at work that were on the computers at that time. So anyway, the company that told our company that they could do it did not understand the magnitude of Mary Kay people. We had to teach hotels here that when, when Mary Kay people say they'll show up, they show up. And so it's not on that third that doesn't show up. You know, now there's life happens, yes. And there are people that can't make something. But most of the time, the majority of our people are better are going to be there. In fact, better than 90% of our people show up. So it made me think about, all right, if that is different, then what is it that we can do to continue the things that we've heard that, and apply some of the ideas that we wanted to pick up. And then this came across my desk and you know how the Lord does things. He just really does kind of say, I'm telling you what to do. But it simply said, a calendar is a simple tool you can use to plan how you will invest your 168 hours this week. And in Habakkuk 2.2, which had been one of the things that when I was a red jacket had been given to me as a scripture, it says, write your vision on tablets so that everybody that passes by quickly can see it. Now that's paraphrased Judy style, but it really and truly went, goes right along with the idea of your calendar. If you looked at your weekly plan sheet this week, how many of us would say, woohoo, I have put seminar down and I am ready to roll. Now, I realize that some of you haven't had the opportunity yet to attend seminar, so you've got this to anticipate and to, to think about and to pull together in a different time. Those of us that have been there, how will our can calendars reflect what we have done and what we have applied? And so we're going to be talking a little bit more about that this evening. <clears throat> because, you know, your weekly plan sheet is one of those that Mary Kay said is vital, not viral, not virtual, but vital. It is vital because it gives you a direction and it helps your family a lot of times, especially if you've color coded it, how to really and truly support you as you support them. So I encourage everybody to think along that line about your calendar. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, as you're looking at your weekly plan sheet or your calendar, you're going to come along and tell me tonight privately in the chat. Remember, you go down to the chat, you find my name, 
And then you tell me the number of faces that you put Mary Kay on this last week, the number of new bookings from this past week, the amount of sales from this past week, the number of career chats or interviews, and the number of new team members. So there's five things, and you're gonna send it to me privately. Faces, bookings, sales, career chats, new team members. And I hope it's not like my hand and the new team members are the lowest number. <laughs> I just got to looking at that and thinking, oh, that was not a good visual. <clears throat> so I apologize. But uh, put those in the chat, and then we are going to be excited to get to hear a little bit more about what next Monday night is going to be like by Sophia telling us what's going to be coming up. So everybody give your rapt attention to Sophia, a new director. Hello, everyone. I am so glad to see y'all, and I am so happy and excited to tell you uh, about what we're planning next week. As you know, everybody has been meeting on Zoom every Monday, and as much as I look forward to it, as much as I love to see you all, all your faces, and talk to you all this way, I cannot wait to see everybody in person, and I hope you join us there. We are going to, uh, well, I will have the honor of introducing my unit, and um, we are going to have a brand new director debut, which is me, everybody, and I really, really think it would, uh, it would be awesome if everybody could be there. I would appreciate it. Um, if, uh, and it's going to be at Ferrang. It's going to be at 6.30. And it is a guest event, so hopefully, if if you if you come, please do bring a guest. And uh, there will be refreshments. There will be door prizes, um, and uh, Julia is going to be there as well as a guest speaker. And uh, of course, Mary is going to be one of our speakers, and uh, my fabulous senior director, our. <laughs> from the Star Catchers unit. Of course, I was a Star Catcher before a Moon Rover. So I just hope you all will be there and I can't wait, I can't wait. Excellent, and we are so excited. We are gonna also be virtual. So Kathy, we want you there, okay? And any of you that are still traveling, yes, same meeting room. So the backdrop's just gonna look different. You're not gonna have this backdrop. You're gonna have a Ferrang Villa backdrop. So we are, you know, all, all systems are go um, to actually have the technology there um, so that, you, that we're gonna virtually be there, but we're also gonna be in person. So just to kind of let you know about that. Yes, Kathy. I was just wondering uh, when I had to book my tickets. <laughs> well, actually we would, Kathy, you would, I would pick you up from the airport. You get that ticket booked. I will drive to the airport and get you. I don't care if you drive, land a DFW or Love. I know where they both are, and I'll done come pick you up. So there you go. So well, you don't be surprised if sometime I show up there because I just love, love, love Dallas, and the Cowboys are my guys. So, okay, thank you. You come on. Uh, I, I if, if Suzanne's not going to host you, I'll take care of you. So, uh, I, although I might have to make sure you. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll argue that part out later. So no, you can come on in whenever you want. Um, and please, please do if at all possible. Um, that being said, if for some reason you cannot or you do not feel, you know, that if you don't feel well, please, please do not attend. Um, we do have the honors of, because we are in Texas, you will have the honors of wearing your mask, okay? so. Please also remember to bring your mask because thank you, Kristen, for being our model, our Vanna in the back. Um, part, of that, part of that is out of respect for our venue as well. Understand, um, I don't know that you know, but a lot of these venues, um, if people are walking in without mask and someone chooses to report them, there is a cash fine on them. And understand their business is already lower. So please, I know that it's funky, it's whatever. Um, but 
we get a chance to be together. We get a chance to, uh, you know, be there with Rita. We get a chance to see Julia. So please, please, um, if possible, be there, but in the same breath, if for some reason you can't, please same that place um, as we are. Um, we're gonna keep the same number. We're gonna log in and make that all happen. So tonight, what I'd like to do, um, one, we're going to, those of you, um, what I'd like you to do is do a reaction. Anybody who has got to listen to part of or at least part of seminar. So either you got to do part of it on Friday, got to do part of it on Saturday, you've went out and listened. If you've done any part of seminar, I want you to put up, um, you know, either a thumb up, a clap up, because I want to know who was there, because I'm going to actually call on everybody who was there. Um, I know everybody hasn't had a chance to do listening yet, but if you have, um, please just let me know because I'm trying to make um, a list of who actually what who did have a chance to see parts of seminar already. Lily, did you get to see part of seminar already? I was going to say, I thought Lily was in on that. Um, and Judy, of course, you were in. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am, I saw uh, part of the seminar, and which, which was so great because I got to see Sapphire at at uh, Judy's house. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Friday night, I am an Emerald. So oh. I got so I got to see Emerald. Nice. And before it was the night was over, I turned back and watched Diamond. There you go. The, 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 diamond, the Diamond Awards. Oh. Yeah. Gee, yeah. I, just, I don't know anything about those Diamond Awards. <laughs> I know. If I had been at Seminar Live, I would not have been able to do any of that. Absolutely. Oh, well, I, I'd been able to do some of it, but not, not oh, all three. That's right. Um, Miss Kathy, just give me a thumbs up. Did you get to watch part of it already? Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So I think I have, Janet, did you get to watch any of it yet? Nope. Oh, I have two Janets. Okay. I'm sorry. Janets, Janets, sorry. And Chris. Okay, great, Christy. Excellent. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of call off your name. What I want you to do. So if you took notes, if you're like me, I've, I've got to start kind of flipping back in my notes um, just to try to bring it back up into active memory. I don't know about you, but I'm like a good computer. I have active memory and then I have stored memory. Um, stored memory doesn't run the same has active memory. So I'm trying to pull some things forward. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you about two minutes. Okay, about two minutes to share. So I really am going to run a timer. Um, so I'm going to give you about two minutes to share a takeaway, share an impression about seminar. Um, yes, okay, can we're going to establish we are astonished what Mary Kay corporate did that they refunded our money. Okay. We're just going to cover it. Okay. I believe all of us are astonished by that. We're going to, we're going to feed a little bit into that a little bit later. So I want you to do something in addition to that. Okay. Something in addition, we are astonished. Technology didn't work. They didn't point the fingers. They just cured it yet. They refunded to us because they felt bad. Um, Yes, we got that. Okay, other than that, so like I said, you're gonna have about two minutes to share. If you happen to remember who said it, please give credit if at all possible. If not, it's more important we hear the thought and maybe somebody else can help us. If all of a sudden, if someone can't remember who shared something but you know, type it over in the chat. Okay, don't interrupt, just type it over in the chat if you happen to remember who said it if they don't. So don't feel bad if you don't remember. We're gonna, God, God knows. So we're gonna go from there. Um, I'm gonna start with the person that I believe has been to the most seminars. I'm gonna take my chances on it. Um, I'm gonna give her the chance to go first. <laughs> um, oh, she's, she's taken off after her notes, I can tell. I, I gotta put her on the spot there. Um, so I'll give her a chance to grab her notes, but I do wanna hear from her. For me, she's, she's one of those people that actually got to see Mary Kay in person at seminar. She was trained by Mary Kay, so talk about the gamut from being live and in person to seeing the woman to having all of this. 
Um, so I, I'm going to guess for her to try to stay in two minutes is going to be a challenge, but she, she's also awesome like that, that I believe she's actually going to be able to do that. So Judy, um, did I give you enough delay time to think through what you might say? So Miss Judy, you are up. Go ahead and unmute. It is so odd to me to be muted. <laughs> but uh, Thea Elvin, who is an NSD, had some words that just right off the bat, I thought that is how nationals think and inspires the rest of us to think that way. Every storm runs out of rain. We don't ever know when, we don't ever know where, but it does run out of rain. And so the Bible says, this too shall pass. <laughs> but it's with that same kind of an idea. <clears throat> and the only way that you can truly fight fear is with a plan. And so again, that went with my calendar idea. And that plan is your intentional action. What do you really intend to do? I am outstanding at saying, I intend to. Then does my calendar reflect that that is a true intentional action that I will take. So all of that's just been kind of resonating with me and working through it. I love my weekly plan sheet. I absolutely cannot live without it. I've tried and it doesn't work. And then one of the other things that she really said is that healing people heal people. You know, we've always heard that hurting people hurt people. But when you put the positiveness to it, healing people heal people. That's what we and Mary Kay have the opportunity to do, and especially in this pandemic that we have throughout the, the global world. Because when you're excited, when you've got a plan, when you're following your plan and you're, you know that there's something that you can do, then your smile, even behind a mask, because it makes your eyes smile, but your smile really and truly will help someone else through a day. We've all heard that story of the child that was headed home and somebody stopped him and said, hey, let me, can you study with me? I see how that you're good at. And I can't tell how long that, I'm sorry? It's ringing when you're ready. Okay, all right. Anyway, this child was headed home to commit suicide, but because someone stopped and talked to him, he did not. Your smile, even with just your eyes, does the same thing. Sorry. Nope, nope, I'll get see two-ish minutes. <laughs> I said two. I said, you know, it's like, and I said, well, if we go two, we might keep them within three. So just to let you know, my goal is two, but I love you all. And I know that on occasions words are fun. Um, so we're going to do that. So excellent. Um, I don't know about you, but are you taking notes of what somebody else caught? Excellent. Um, to me, this is what helps bring things up to back into active memory. The other thing is a Mary Kay-ism. Um, she, she would say that the faintest pen is stronger than the, than the, than the, than the mind. Okay. Your <laughs> action, the, Judy, say, say what it was. I know I, I killed it, but the it, faintest pencil is stronger and lasts longer than the memory. There you go. I, I had cut parts of it. You, you um, were nearly there. <laughs> um, so part of this is is just to help bring it up to active mind. Um, so just kind of laying it out there, business owners. This is a, this is a way that we can get to do it. Um, also, the idea, if at all possible, if you actually have to physically write it, that is different than us techie people who like to type. It is actually a different whole memory thing. So just. Just one of those businessy things. So another person who has been to more than two, I can guarantee that. Um, Miss Lily, I'm going to pick on you next. So if you will go uh, go ahead and unmute and go for your two minutes of your takeaways, please. Okay, I always get off on another path. It seems like, but uh, by being at the Sapphire Awards show and then by being at the Emerald third night awards uh, people, unit leaders, it gave me a little pr different perspective. So if anybody wants to see Gloria Mayfield Bank in person before she retires, and I don't know when she's gonna retire, but I'm sure it's coming up soon. Anyway, uh, 
she is on the Emeralds on Friday night, if you can see that. And I know somebody uh, that I was in a unit um, meeting before this meeting, Zoom meeting, and somebody has already seen some of the classes. Mm -hmm. And they are phenomenal and great, and everybody needs to see the classes. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Lily. Thank you for your perspective. Um, yes, um, just one, Gloria will retire in January. So if, you'd like to, if you would like to see her before she retires, you get to be a director. You get to be a director before January. You get to be a director before January to see Gloria retire. Is Which it means possible? you go to San Antonio with us in January. That's right. You, go, you get to go with the directors. Is it possible to still be a director when you have three months left? Uh, we have living proof that that is totally possible. So just to let you know, it is totally possible to still do it. But it's a made up mind that's going to help with that. Um, yes, in a little bit, we'll talk about where the classes are and all of that. So thank you, Lily, for your perspective on that. Okay, so I have no idea who else has been to as many, but I'm gonna think, Ms. Vicki Sharar, you are probably up there in the number of seminars that you have attended. So why don't we go ahead and hear from you next? Yes, uh, Friday was my 18th anniversary. So I came into Mary Kay right after seminar that year. And so I've been to 17 seminars, haven't missed a one, so. And don't plan to miss any, but you never know. But anyway, there was just so much. I mean, it was as if I was there at sitting in the arena on Saturday morning, just making notes like a crazy person. And again, um, Thea was one that caught me too, because she talked about abracadabra. And she said, what I speak, I create. And then several of them talked about uh choose to be the spark to create the chain reaction and that goes with the earrings that we got the first month and the necklace we got this month and so um what i liked from one of the classes they were talking about the virtual business and they said it's not something that we're just going to put back and go out and start doing parties again we're going to add it to those parties so if we learned anything from this, it's that we learned a new way to share the product and the opportunity. And so that's kind of my things. I can't hear you. Hey, Mary, you're hey, muted. I muted myself. So thank you for your, your uh, viewpoint on that and congratulations on having your name scroll across the screen. Well, we got um, to see Miss Suzette way uh, up there. No, we did get to see Miss Suzette, so congratulations. But congratulations to you. That is what, number three? Two. Number three. Number three. So that is, that is totally awesome as, you know, making sure that you are selling to your customers and servicing them and that the fact that we can celebrate you. So congratulations on that as well. Okay, so thank you. See. You are very welcome. Miss Bozina, I'm gonna pick on you next. Okay, uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> okay. I spark a chain reaction. Can you see that? Did I see that? Okay. Bling bling, you know, you know how much I love bling. Anyway, um I just love how everything was handled in spite of the technical difficulties. And some of my inactive team members are invited for pizza and wine. And guess what? We had a great time in spite of the technical difficulties. We played 80s music. Uh, I shared all of my blink and my prizes and we took pictures. Um, but what my biggest takeaway, in addition to what you already mentioned, was the queen of sharing of Diamond Seminar. Mm -hmm. um, because she said something really important. She, she agreed with 43 people. And the runner-up was a Russian director that I know, Natalia Kravina, um, a friend of Alicia. Um, 
she said that she just put her blinders on and just kept going. She didn't look at the numbers, just kept going, get, get the work done. And it's like, wow, so simple, but just put your blinders on. And of course I got really mushy and, you know, tears, tears, tears after when Lauren Daigle was singing, you say, I am love, you say, I am strong, because sometimes I feel like nothing. I feel like I haven't achieved much. And that song reminded me that we are strong. We are blessed. We are, how do you say that very highly favored? Highly favored. Yes, highly yes. Favored. So her song really, really, really touched me. And it's like, this is what I gave her up. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Great job, Ms. Zina. Keep it, and good job. Actually, way under the two minute, or right under the two minutes. So great job. Yeah. And well. my name scrolled too. I wasn't as famous as Suzette, but uh, my name scrolled too at the end because it was alphabetical, and I'm W Y uh, in the beauty consultant part of sales for the very first time. Yay! <laughs> yes. Well, I was gonna say that, but yes, Last we have lined up our queens here. So absolutely, it was great to see you. Yeah, name. and my director was double star. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. It was totally awesome. So very, very cool. So now as um, Janice, have you been to seminar before? Once. Okay. I was going to say, because I'm thinking I'm coming up upon everybody that this was kind of a relatively new experience. So go ahead. Since you've been there before, I'm going to go ahead and call on you. And that, yeah, I mean, I got other people. So yes. So Miss Janice, you're up. Well, I haven't really got to watch what Saturday I, I watched at it, but okay. I had a really bad headache. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, I couldn't even see to take notes, but right now my takeaway is to what I saw Friday night is seeing that that many people can accomplish that much. And that doesn't mean, I mean, that means if you put the work in, then you can accomplish that. And I saw a picture of the blue ring, thanks to Judy. And I want that blue ring because that's my favorite color. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, way under two minutes, but I can't no. wait to see, to watch it again and really listen to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and you know what? Um, I love it. Both Zena said it, you said it. It's that I have a vision and I'm going to tunnel in on it. I'm going to focus in on it. Um, I am so excited on the call. We have three consultants that won diamond rings this year. So how about next year? We have more like 10 to 12 and we have th more people joining us in directorship, but I love it that thank you to our, our consultants who earn diamonds to help make it possible. It's not something that's reserved for becoming a director. You can service your clients and have fun bling all at the same time. So thank you, Miss Janice. We're so very, very excited. Okay, Miss Kathy, I'm jumping to you. How about share some of your takeaways from California? Okay. Okay. Um, I was at seminar uh, five years ago. Five years ago, I was at seminar. Um, and um, well, what I, I'll tell you what I got out of this seminar. This seminar, um, the, the classes that they have, they allowed us to download them. And so we could pick and choose which one we wanted to save. You could, you know, scroll through them and pick and choose. And we weren't able to do that before. Um, we got a DVD with everything on it and and so you had a stack of DVDs that you saved and um, but being able to pick and choose what classes you wanted um, I like that the best and um, this seminar was <laughs> so different you 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 all that have been there before know how beautiful the dresses are when they walk down the stage and if, if you have nothing else to work for it's the opportunity to buy a dress and walk down the stage with all of these other princesses you know and um and and i'm i miss seeing the dresses 
I'm, t I'm totally a dress freak. <laughs> yes. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There you go. Okay. I love that, Kathy. Okay. So a little bit of the humor. Um, I am notorious and I'll use the word notorious that I'm, I usually go pick out my dress July. I'm not, I never want to get into it too that early. Uh, you know, I'm going to get around to it. But this year we had, we had an event with Julia and I found the cutest. Um, I had, I had found it. It's like, oh, I, so, it was with me. I said, won't this be fun to walk someone on our stage with? And we both agreed. It was totally fun. Totally me. I bought it in January. The last time I am buying my dress early because it just proves. Okay, granted, uh, now I am what, 18 months ahead of schedule that as long as I can still fit into it that I don't have to adjust it too much, I will just wear it next year. But I'm just laughing that it's like, okay, the one year I didn't wait is the year that I don't get to wear my dress. But I will tell you that my feet are way happier this year. So much happier this year than any other year when I get home from seminar that it's like, oh my gosh, my feet were so excited. Those of you who watched my video opening my box, <laughs> I didn't even wear shoes for that. <laughs> um, I, I kind of dig this being at home. I'm not sure how I'm going to get on next weekend or next Monday when I will actually have to wear shoes on, during a Monday night meeting because, well, I'm not. Let's just go there. <laughs> yes, Kathy. I have one more thing to say and um and that is that um because we didn't get to go to seminar mm -hmm. for me being able to watch you open your box was my seminar and i loved it and i will thank you so much for doing that um, i loved your dress that you wore bare feet and all um, <laughs> But um, th that at least gave us a little fluff for what we didn't usually get. I mean, um, the, the fluff that goes along with the seminar is just what it's all about, you know? So thank you well, for sharing your, your box opening. There you go. Well, thank you for being a part of it. It was, it was totally fun. Speaking of opening my box, actually had Miss Toya and her daughter stop in when I announced that I was going to open it. They came over, so I did not have to just open it with just my family. So we're, Toya, we're going to go to you next that you can share your seminar experience. But I also just want to thank you for stopping in with your daughter and being a part of that and recording it and helping with just the energy that night um, as we got to open the box. So thank you for that. And now it's your turn. What's your takeaways from seminar so far? You're muted, sweetheart. No, you're not. <laughs> well, um, Saturday I had it on, but a cousin stopped by, so um, I have to go back and really look at Saturday. Um, I just just like how we adapted to the the hiccup and how the company. Um, we're sending out emails and notifications, letting us know, um, keeping us on point. Um, I enjoyed the the um, the entertainers, um, the the songs that were even sung. Cause one of them, I'm like, okay, yeah, yes. Um, I can't. I don't even know who the order was. I think no, I can't even tell you which artist was that. Um, and then the the um, the couple, the the mm -hmm. act. You know, the chair didn't fall over. <laughs> and so, um, but I, um, I did get get to hear some of the 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 journey that some of the ladies went through to get to where they are, and the encouragement and the push, and then just to see the company just do everything that they can to try to give it to us um, with. COVID. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely, yes. That that it. <laughs> Watch back on the Saturday on the Friday, Friday, the Friday. The entertainers, that couple, 
how their bodies do that. I'm just like, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, mm, mm, that's telling. Um, okay. So I'm going to turn it over to the moon ropers. I'm going to let Sophia and then Christy go back to back. Um, first seminar, first time as a unit, first time spinning out of my scene. So you got all kinds of fun stuff on here um, as we were celebrated for that. So um, Sophia, how about you go first? And then Christy, we're going to come to you right after Sophia. Okay. Um, I just, of course, you know, I had great expectations and I wasn't disappointed. Mm. I was not disappointed. Um, I think one one takeaway I, I have from from seminar is that we got to see and hear from all kinds of different people in different areas of the country. Oh. That was awesome. I love that. That was that was cool. Um, another one was about how uplifting and positive. Everyone was. It wasn't. It wasn't political. It was just. It was wonderful. It was people loving on each other and encouraging each other and supporting each other and just you know a whole bunch of gratitude. Uh, and the one one of the speakers, one of the speakers that I, uh, of course, the abracadabra thing just stuck with me too. That did me too. Um, about what I what I speak, I create. But another one is about that the same speaker was was also talking about in the mind of uh, a successful person. Ask them what they're thinking, not what they did to get there. Ask them what they're thinking, because that, that's where it starts. It's all about the attitude, and that that was my my big takeaway Excellent. from that. Excellent. Excellent job. Miss Christy, are you at a point that you can unmute and share? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Well, I one of the things that I loved was um, the is all the recognition and the positive, you know, how people got where they are and just the learning of, you know, where people's backgrounds and stuff are and how they've got to where they are now. Excellent. Excellent. And I look for, and all of you that are here, I look forward to your name. Okay, so when we're in person, our name still gets to go up on the big screen and they actually announce your name. Um, like Kathy says, we do get to dress up like princesses um, and walk across the stage and, you know, um, I feel I feel kind of sad sad um, for Suzette. The fact that she was in the top twenty, um, she would have actually been personally escorted onto stage. She would have had a gentleman that works in Mary Kay corporate would have extended his arm in his tuxedo and would have actually walked her out onto stage and handed her her flower and um, and her box and just you know presented her like a princess. Um, I'm really kind of sad that she did miss that part of it, but in the same breath, I am so excited that we got to see her face scrolling across the screen. Um, and so to be a part of that, um, I'll quick show you my takeaway, I'll to quick do my takeaway, and then I'm gonna show you where we're gonna find this stuff. Um, so for me, um, you guys have heard about my concept of a COVID miracle, of how my unit finished out June. You know, it was like, wow, aren't we so excited? We did, you know, 600% more. Actually, I don't know if you guys had all heard. We actually, our unit actually did 600% more than we did the year before. You know, 600%, that's pretty darn good. awesome, right? Don't you think? Um, and then I would have to just sit back. My mind was totally blown when I was listening to Sherry Purvis um, and how they finished up their million dollar year. Okay, I was so like, okay, and so it's not a comparison, but if God will do for one, he can do for all, okay? This is God's abundance that he is willing to say, are you willing to think about it? Are you willing to believe it is possible? So one of the other speakers had said, hey, over during COVID, we added a thousand new unit members. And my mind went, 
what? I mean, my mind just went, Poosh. you know, that was part of the blowing. And then Sherry Purvis goes, yeah, in June, in June, we did over 280,000 that they did. They did in a month. That's a six digit number in a month, six digits. So number, number, comma, number, number, number. Okay, Sophia, aren't we excited when we get, or Judy, aren't we excited when we get five digits? I mean, we're like, whoa, we're big, we're big girls. Whoa, look at our team, we're awesome, we have five digits. And the first one was not a zero or a one. Okay, plethora. It was during this COVID. COVID was very much on. And the thing was, like us, million really wasn't their plan this year. But the abundance came anyway. So for me, that was just one of those, hmm, God has, God has so much in store for us. Um, I'd have to say I'm totally enjoying my new necklace. I've added, I've added bling. I've added more bling to my necklace. So I'm totally enjoying. Although I did find some cleaner, so it doesn't look quite as um, stackable as it did earlier. All of a sudden, I mean, when I put it together, it's like, oh my goodness, did my jewelry need to be cleaned? Because you could almost tell, oh, that was year one, that was year two, and oh yeah, that the bling just didn't look quite. Anyway, so I did that. So I'm gonna go to a screen share. Hang on, um, just a minute, Mary. Really and truly, ladies, I want you to think about the fact that what Mary said, their unit did a, the, their best month ever in June, yes. They had a tremendous DIQ that was working through with her. The two of them did phenomenal things, but a 600% increase, ladies. Just think, if that was just, a, if a dime was the thing, and you did a 600% increase, you've got $600, maybe 6,000. I'm not real good in math. However, the point is, is they did a phenomenal thing. And I think we all need to give them a great big round of applause because they are awesome in what they did throughout well, the COVID. And you all just were shining examples of inspiration to us during COVID as well. Well, thank you. Um, I also want to put it out there that yes, we were working and we did, we did great. But in the same breath, I think anybody who's on my team will also admit we did great. But I also don't know, well, I can also say we, there was still gas left in this tank. We did great. But in the same breath, if if the world if our baby was a you know if it was life or death for a child there probably could have been more found and the reason i say that is i believe that's true for all of us even when we say that we do our best i mean you guys have seen that experiment right okay so we're going to do it just to to remind you i want you to put your arm as high as you can over your head high as you can now I want you to reach just a little higher. Okay, now I want you to reach just a little bit higher yet. Oh, I think so. Okay, but what did I tell you at first? Reach as high as you can, mm -hmm. but yet to reach as farther, you could reach farther. And okay. I typed it in over here, but also Thea had said, create a pandemic of hope. Oh, yeah. And that is what, we want to say thank you to Mary and Sophia and their teams for doing. They created a pandemic of hope. So Absolutely. congratulations to you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna jump to a screen share. Um, so hopefully this is gonna play with me well. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can see my computer screen. Everybody see my computer screen? Okay, so this is in touch. Um, if you notice, you go across the top here, if you go over here to Video Lounge, voila, Seminar 2020. And if you click here on the little arrow, 
just as Lily had spoke to us earlier, sapphire, emerald, diamond, ruby, the four different divisions, what is available to us in each division is the day three closing, and as of right now, the day two. So the awards ceremony and closing ceremonies are available for all four. Under seminar classes, um, somebody was talking to us about the seminar classes. Uh, I think, Kathy, that was you. Um, you're going to notice, because I am a director, I have more options of classes than you do. Whatever career level you are on, you can see your career level and all the career levels below you. Okay, so just to kind of let you know, and as Kathy says, once we click on them, we can also um, share them. <laughs> To enjoy okay these will be out here until at least what we're hearing right now they will be out here until September 30th okay everybody has access to these until September 30th to me not going in and watching all of the divisions to me, not going in and watching all the classes that are available to you is like that box of seminar gifts I got if I would have never opened them. How Kathy said, it was so cool to watch me open it. It allowed other people to participate, right? The, the, the prizes were in there, but, it, but if I went to open them, other people couldn't participate, and would I, be, would I be able to be enjoying them and showing them off? Okay, does that make sense? So this is a gift that Mary Kay is going, here, will you open it? It is here. And any of you new team members that sign up right now, they're going to be given instant access to those. Okay? Anybody who is in Mary Kay between now and September 30th is going to have access to watch this training. I don't know about you, but I can go back and listen and learn something new. Am I the only one? No. So... This, I mean, I will tell you my game plan. I, now when I go to get ready in the morning, I have, okay, I have some technology. I take my little iPad and I sign on to Mary Kay in touch. I go up to the video lounge and I hit play and I let it play while I'm getting ready. And so it's just kind of resonating. It's kind of stewing with me. And then if a point, if it's like, oh, I got to remember that, guess what? I have the honors to go listen to it again. Now I've heard it a minimum of twice so that I can go take my note on it. So really, I've heard it three times. Does that make sense? That's how, okay, you guys know that I grew up on a dairy farm. Have you ever heard of the word ruminate? Let me give you a cow lesson, Okay. Welcome to my cows and plows. Cows have four tummies, okay? When they eat, they go get grass and it goes down into tummy one. Then literally they chew their cud. You know, you pick on people when they hack on their gum. Cows actually have to do that, okay? Cows actually have to do that. So they literally, and they sit there and they chew their food. And then they swallow it. And if it's fine enough, then it passes down to tummy two. If not, they, they it's called ruminate. It's a form of their form of digestion. It's how they can turn.
grass and she did things for us via, in my opinion, via milk, meat, whatever. Not a vegetarian statement, okay? I'm just saying it's what cows do. Um, so, but it's this rumination. They are able to get more out of their food than those of us who have a single pack. I encourage us to ruminate on what is being said. These are people that excel. To be a speaker at seminar means you were absolutely at the top of your game at that moment. These are the top three nationals, the top three sales directors. These are people that, you know, Hello, I had a $600 improvement, a 600% improvement, and I was not asked. Okay, does that give you perspective of how on top of their game these people are that are willing to say, here, I'll give you a gift. Okay, I pray that you will open the gift. Okay, so my part of the training here that I want to kind of mm, quick switch over to here is what are we gonna do with this seminar gift that has been given to you? You know, J Judy's talked about our calendar, okay? Yeah, I mean, we have Sophia's debut on the, on the calendar for next Monday. We're gonna do everything in our power to bring guests with us. But part of this is, is your intention of what it is that you're gonna put your blinders on to actually make it happen. Um, what I'm going to train on next, you may choose to do it or you may choose not to, but here's my thought. For most of you, if you would take my idea and run with it, you are probably going to have a better week than what you had last week, which is probably better than the week you had before. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna say you have to. Um, if you're already doing five, $600 in sales per week, keep replicating exactly what you're doing. You do not need to do what I'm saying. But if you are not getting exactly what you want on, on an, a weekly basis for your sales, I'm gonna encourage you to find a piece of paper and take some notes of what I'm gonna encourage you to do, okay? Um, what I call this is that I, I call it my two hour work week. Um, for those of you who don't know me, pre-Mary Kay, when I was working my way up, that's about how much time I had to give to Mary Kay. I'll be, okay, I'll be honest, it was three, but I'm going to show you a way to revise it that you can do it at two. So it can either be a two-hour work week or a three-hour work week. It, it's the same premise. Okay, so what it is, when I was working my way up, I made a commitment to be at the meeting. When I was coming up, I could bring guests to my meetings, okay? So when I was coming up, I made the commitment that I would be at the meeting and I didn't want to walk in alone. Well, the first time I didn't want to walk in alone because I didn't know how to trust you all and I knew it was safer to bring friends. You know, I, I don't even usually go to the bathroom by myself. So, you know, I was going to bring a friend. So when I first started, it was just for, for security of walking into a room that I didn't know the situation. But later, it was because I wanted to encourage other people to hear the Mary Kay story. So when I was bringing, when I was coming up, I had a 70-hour work week, plus I had three children at home. I wasn't bored. Okay, so my weekly plan sheet really didn't allow for much time to do anything. So I put my, my green box, my money making time for Mary Kay was literally the time for my Mary Kay meeting. With us being in COVID, this is where it's a slight difference. You are getting trained tonight, but I can't make you any money tonight. Why can't I make you any money tonight? Someone on mute or type in the chat. Why can't I make you money? Because you can't bring a guest. Because I can't bring you a guest. Everybody who's here is already in Mary Kay and you're not gonna sell them any product, nor are you gonna recruit them, okay? So the one that this 
We love to help you get the mindset of an entrepreneur, but because we can't help you earn money, this is why Sophia, Judy, and I offer these other guest events because we want you to be able to walk with us and have a chance to earn some money. Okay, that's why we do what we do. Okay, so when I was coming up, I could bring guests to the guest event. So all, this is my work, so my meeting was an hour and a half, just like this one. And my other 90 minutes was spread out over my other six days to say, hey Janice, what are you doing on Monday night? Would you like to be my guest? And either she's gonna give me a thumbs up or she's gonna give me a no, right? If she said yes, I'll say, great. Do you wanna meet me there? Would you like me to pick you up? Okay, if she told me no, I'll say, does that mean you can't come? Or is it that Monday nights, or is it a Monday night issue? You know, what is it? You don't wanna come or that's it, that Monday night's bad? I just can't do Monday night. Okay, well, Monday nights are the nights that you get to try product, but here's my website. Did I ever offer her an other alternative to try product? Okay, I'm telling on myself, we did not have flip charts. We did not have apps. I was petrified. I, I barely knew how to wash my face. Well, I, I actually, that's not fair. I was confident I could teach them how to wash their face. I had no idea what to do with them if they wanted something besides mineral powder makeup. I had no idea how to put their eyeshadow on. Contouring, I had no idea what that word even was. So by the second we got to makeup, I was petrified and if anybody asked me a question, I knew I wasn't gonna be an expert. So I would only invite guests to some place where I felt confident they would get a good experience. At the meeting where our red jackets or our directors would do the skincare class. I wasn't a director or I wasn't a red jacket. I didn't have to do it. I thought it was awesome. Okay. So my whole week was spent. Hey, you know, so if Janice could come. I, I figured, you know, hey, I'll keep the director, the director of red jacket. Baby. Hey, Rhonda, what are you doing Monday night? Would you like to join me? That's all I did all week was invite anybody and everybody to Monday. And if they couldn't join me on Monday, then they either got a catalog or sent to my website and that's their experience of how they got to buy product. They could either come with me or they could look it up themselves. I'm just tattling, okay? So my work week was spent inviting or showing up at the event. That's all I did. Do you guys understand that when I made up my mind to become a director, I earned my car and did my directorship in less than four months, working that many hours. Do you imagine how much faster I could have done that if I would have worked a few more hours? Okay, or if I would have done my own skincare class. See, does that make sense? So my offer, okay, my plan to you, this week, will you commit to at least two hours to your business in addition to tonight? Will you, okay, so now on your little plan, I, I wanna see notebooks. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lazina. What I want, I wanna do the breakout of your two hours, okay? When are you committing to your 30 minutes of showing off the product. Now, this could be tomorrow night at, at eight. This could be Thursday night at eight. This could be Saturday at 10. This could be none of those above. I want you to commit to one time. 
And I want you to, in your, okay, so you, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to write it down. I am attending, I want you to write it down. When are you going? Write it down. Because if you're writing it down, your brain is going, oh, wait, that's commitment. I'm going. Write it down. When are you writing it down? See, you notice that I'm not asking what you're writing down because you see in the grand scheme, it doesn't matter to me. It matters that you and your head are on the same page. Okay? When are you going? What time is it? If it is not Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, what are you talking about? You see, you're not in control of the agenda on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. I am. You're invited to my parties on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But if you want a different topic, guess what? One, you can ask me, maybe I might teach it, but you could also teach it just at a different time. If you're passionate about these new lip glosses, teach a lip gloss class. Have fun with it. I'm not even offended if you and your guest do it Tuesday at eight o'clock, just not on our Zoom time. You just FaceTime each other and you just do it. Does that, am I making sense what I need you to commit to? Give me a thumbs up if you've written down your commitment. Okay, now after your commitment, what I want you to do is I want you to draw four lines. One, two, three, four lines. Under the time and the date of what you're teaching. Do you know why I'm gonna ask you for four lines? Because you see your brain sees a line and you're well trained from school. If there is a blank, your brain must fill it in. See now your brain thinks you need how many guests at your event? Four, because if there's a blank, your tummy's gonna hurt. How many people believe that to be true? Were you not trained in school if there was a blank you had to fill in an answer? Yeah, we, right, Judy, isn't that what we taught them in school? We give them blank, they fill in the test, fill in the blank, fill in the blank. You are conditioned to fill in the blank. This is one of the weirdest things that I will tell you, it, but it's factual. You put down lines in your, in your date book, you will be surprised how often those lines get filled. Because all of a sudden your brain goes, oh, it's a problem, it's a problem, I gotta fix it, I gotta fix it, I gotta fix it. And your brain will keep working until the problem is fixed. No lines, no guest. It's the weirdest thing, but okay, got it? So you have your, your time, what's being taught, and your four lines, yes? Everybody giving me a thumbs up that we, we have that actually written down, yes? Okay, now uh, what I want you to do next is I want you to think through your script of how you're going to invite somebody. Some of our favorite TV shows and our, all of our movies have been scripted. I bet you have yet to read a book that wasn't scripted. Right? Right. A script is not a robot. A script is to make sure everything you want is there. Okay? It's not to pen you in. It's not to give you, you know, hey, I want to go kick down that fence. It is to give you guidelines so that you don't forget something. Or am I the only person that if I don't write something down, I can forget it? Oh, fine. Leave me hanging. Okay. I'll just take all that by myself. Okay, so here it is. I want you to plan on using your voice and text, okay? I want you to use your voice 
first? Put it in the chat, which goes first, voice or text? Put it in the chat, which goes first? Which came first, voice or text? Yes. I want you to, so this may mean that you're picking up and you go as far as an answering machine or what, whatever they call it. It could be that you call and they didn't set it up. That's okay. You are doing the process in order. If not, if they didn't set their phone up, that they can't hear your amazing voice, the issue is you're gonna use your voice first because it's your excitement that you're selling, okay? So here is the outline of the script. Hi, and then I put a blank, because that's where her name goes, or his name. Hi, Toya, this is Mary. Unless your name is Mary, you're going to change the last blank to your name. Or you can send me all your bookings, and I'll just keep making more money, okay? Hi, blank, this is blank, fill in the names. I'm so excited. That sounded excited. I'm so excited. Does not sound excited. You're selling the excitement. I'm so excited, tomorrow night we are. Did you notice how fast I'm talking? Why am I talking fast? Because excited people talk fast. Does that make sense? I'm so excited. Tomorrow night we have doing our favorite things. Would you possibly be my VIP guest? Okay. I'm so excited. Then you have to tell them a when. So I'm inviting people for tomorrow night. I'm so excited that tomorrow night, we're doing our favorite things. Will you be my VIP guest? Now, if you're not doing tomorrow night, you're doing Wednesday at two. I'm doing a lipstick class Wednesday at two. Will you be my VIP model? I am calling her a what am I calling her? A VIP. Is she very important to me? Yes, she is because she could fill in one of those little blanky lines that my brain is trying to fill in. She's very important to me because my brain's gonna keep spinning until I get those four little lines filled in. Does that make sense? Who likes to be called a VIP? Okay, at least I have some honest people. <laughs> Everybody likes to be important. Does that make sense? Um, we're do and then I'm gonna let her know that if it's virtual or if it's in person. Is there, is there any reason why you can't be my guest? Okay, and then I stop. If I'm leaving a message, I'll stop and I'll say, I hope to hear from you soon. If I'm in person, I'm gonna wait her out. Is there any reason why you can't be my VIP guest? And then I'm just gonna wait for see what she says. Okay, if she says yes, I'm so excited. I have a name for my line. And I write down her name on my line. Okay, if she says yes, she gets the honor. She has to say yes to get my line. Okay, if she says yes, she gets my line. Then, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna work the yes scenario first, and then I'll come back to the other scenarios. If she says yes, do you know anybody else that could join you so both of you could get a prize. Do you know anyone who could join you that you both could get a prize? You see, 
I'm going to use as many words as she comes by herself or she brings friends. I might as well let her bring a friend, right? Now I'm starting to meet her friend circle. Yes? Does that make sense? Does her friend get a line? Nope. I do not give friends lines. This is my logic of why not. Because if person one doesn't come, neither is person two. I like to be in control. Haven't you noticed that yet? Does that make sense? I'm not going to turn over that whole second line to if person one doesn't want to show up. Make sense? See, I'm going to have at least four, but I could have eight people there or more. But I'm controlling the first four. Make sense? Everybody's cool on the yes answers. Then, so like if I finish booking tonight or if I book first thing tomorrow morning with her, I'll say, I'll text you right before we start so that you don't forget. And then I'll send her the invite. So if you're not using my, if you're not using our invite, make up some sort of something so she knows where she's supposed to be, when and where. If you're showing up in person, I send little things and say, hey, I'll be at your house at three o'clock. And I even put the address on her where I'm showing up. So I make sure that my, make sure I'm showing up to the right house. Or if you're showing up to my house, I make sure my house number's on the, on the address. Okay. If she says no, oh, can I just say, this is as close as you're gonna to get to a reprimand from Mary, okay? This is as close as you're gonna get. So help me, if I find out you have paid for a website and you have not done the extra two steps to go out there and set it up, seriously. I work with other business owners that literally their website costs them over a hundred dollars a month. Ours costs thirty dollars for the year, and all we have to do is go in and set it up. I.e., you put in your name. You've already paid for it. You just have to agree. Hey, is it okay if they get a free gift? Is it okay if you do shipping, or do they have to split the shipping with you? This is not rocket science and you've already paid for it. This is like going into a restaurant, ordering the meal, have it brought to your table, and then don't eat it. Are you watching my flow on this one? Sorry, that makes no sense to me. Okay, so if somebody tells me no, what I suggest, what I've been doing is, I send her a video, you know, from the video lounge, the shareable video lounge. I send her a, a, a video of one of my favorite products. If you don't have them, let me know. I have some, I'll share. I save them under my phone, under videos. And then their first name is what it is. So it's video microdermabrasion, video biomask, video their last name is video their first name is who they are because that way then i can just go out there take the copy of the link and i can send my current favorite video i like sending out i have one on the microdermabrasion i just think it's totally funny i think it's great that's who i'm sending out oh you can't come on monday you're just so busy would you do me a favor would you watch this video about one of my favorite products and then let me know what you think about it and i have a coupon for you at the end I've just engaged her in a product because most of us girls are not going to turn down a discount. I now have a potential for sale, even if she's not coming to my party. Then I have her register on my website, www.maryk.com for Mary H. Okay? That's what I do with my notes. If she can't come because she's too busy, fine, stay too busy. I'm still gonna try to sprinkle some stuff on you. Mary, I'd love to, but I can't this week. Okay, great. 
and then I'm taking notes that I'm inviting her the next week. I have people booked two to three weeks out because their life makes me book them two to three weeks out. And I'm just making a list. That's part of what goes on my calendar is who's in my line blanks multiple weeks, multiple days ahead. Your two hour plan. I want you committing to at least, I want you committing to one, one. I want this kind of blinder on. How many of you have ever had to show up to the hairdresser or the doctor when at an inconvenient time because that's when they said they were available? Guess what? You have asset services. I'm not gonna, I want you to make it in, your, your time is the time that works best for you and you're invited. Think of it like a birthday party. Do you schedule five, six, seven birthday parties or do you schedule one and either they're joining you or they're not? Does that make sense? It's a birthday party. They can either come to the party or they can miss it. Those are their options. So you're gonna select your time and then your other, what the other lines I want you to put. Okay, so you have your lines for who your guests are. Now I want you to write down four other little lines. And you get to put a check mark on the line or an X, color it in, I don't care. Each 15 minute block that you spend making phone calls and text messages. 15 minutes, 15 minute blocks. Most of us in 15 minutes, we can pull off three. We can try to pull off three booking attempts in 15 minutes. And if nobody picks up, it's more like six to eight. <laughs> Cause nobody's picked up. <laughs> okay. So you have lines for how many guests are coming. You have written down what you're doing and when you're doing it. And you have lines to check off that you've attempted to book people to those times. And I will, I'm gonna, I, I don't, I'm gonna, I can't guarantee because as directors, we're not allowed to guarantee, but I will give you probabilities. Okay, I can't guarantee, but I'll give you probabilities. You have four people at a guest event. I will give you the probability that you will pocket profit more than 50 bucks. If you spent two hours doing this, that means you're gonna be working for about $25 an hour. My guess is that's an upgrade for most of you. There is my two hour plan work for y'all who is taking it on what i would like to see and I, I will give you um if you want you may private message me why miss judy's doing this or if you want to be bold you can do it to all of us what i'd like to see is either private message me or to the general group what is your commitment of time and what is happening so i want to know your are you committing to Wednesday at two, and I'm doing lips. I'm doing favorite things at Tuesday at eight. Would you either send it to me private message or will you post it in the group? Cause y'all just told me you wrote it down. So this is not like a mystery, but let's commit to it just one more time. Type away, Miss Judy. Oh, thank you. Yes, yep. Uh, that is so strong and so great as it fits all the way through. And, you know, as you make, make that commitment, we're going to have a whole lot more names up next week than we have this week. <clears throat> now, we realize that it was seminar week and that oftentimes has to be where we've spent our time. But I want to say that on faces, our queen of faces is Bozina with 
three. Please give her a big round of applause and a thumbs up. And then in bookings, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we have Vicki and Bozina that were the queen because they tied with two new bookings for this week. And so congratulations, Bozina and Vicki on that. And then that this won't be a big surprise when you hear that Vicki had a 260 week while Bozina had 310 because they've made their faces and they're working at it. And congratulations, ladies, to you for your sales for the week. We think that is really an exciting thing. And then <clears throat> Bozina gets to walk off with the queen's hat once again for having the most career chats. And I didn't write down the number, <laughs> she, but she was the only one that turned in career chats. And so she is our queen. And so congratulations. And, you know, really and truly, as you follow Mary's plan of commitment and you've let her know what it is tonight, either whether you've done it to everybody or you've done it privately to her, then you really and truly will make a difference. We also would love to encourage you to be willing to do one of the presentations. You do not have to be perfect. You don't have to totally understand the product. But if you will do this, it helps our customers that are there to see that we're all real. One of my newest team members signed up because she had been on two or three of the different calls and she liked how well everybody's skin looked in comparison to hers. So, you know, there's lots of value in having those gifts. And so again, congratulations, Vicki and Bozina for turning your numbers in tonight. And oh, I can't wait to see what they're gonna be next week for bunches of us. And so, uh, Sophia, we are ready for you, I believe. Uh, one thing before I turn it over, just I'm seeing numbers come in. I love it. Those of you that are committing to it, um, those of you who are farther down the career path, excellent. Um, I'm just encouraging you to actually just put those blinders on and um, shotgun, as my daddy, shot, buckshot will never down a deer. Okay. I would rather have you say, I'm all in for Tuesday or I'm all in for Thursday and be so, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's three o'clock on Tuesday and I have absolutely nobody. I got to just keep calling my whatever. Um, as opposed to, Hey, I want to try to be here at all four events and then end up. And this is more history. People, we have not been having a ton of guests. Okay, I am trying to help you get to, because it's great to be together, but if, they, if you don't have a guest on that event, it's great training, but it's not cash making. That square doesn't get, as Judy would teach us, that square no longer is not green. It is purely only pink, and a, but a pink green square, those are some powerful squares. So. Sophia, sorry for interrupting, but I just want to make sure that you guys, I was very intentional when I said focus. Very intentional. Um, I love all the events, but we've got to, we've got to laser in people. We've got to get those events. We've got to tone in um, and get guests at those events or, or whatever time works for you. Okay. So excellent. Excellent. Most excellent. We talked a lot about, Mary talked a lot about planning, planning and getting your, and, and so did, uh, so did Judy. She talked about filling out your weekly plan sheet. Mary talked about how to get started, how to make a commitment with your plan. And what I'm going to talk about is actually taking the action, that idea, the vision, the commitment needs to have legs. You need to actually pick up that phone, pick up the phone and call people and talk to people so that you can, you can complete your mission, which is to try to get your guests to the event. And quite honestly, it is at times, it is a numbers game. You cannot control what's going on in their lives. You can't control coronavirus. You can't control, control any of those events. 
But the thing that you can control is your attitude, how you feel about it. You can control that. You can control your actions. You can control what you do. Um, what uh, another thing that that I got from seminar that I'm just going to mention here is is one of the speakers said what you do with your time will promote you or it will re reveal you and if you take that time and you use it to make your phone calls and connect with your people just go down your customer list and say hello how are you doing how are you doing through these events and just kind of and see where they are and what and what they're doing and then go by your script go ahead and go through and take that action um whatever it takes a cheetah catches a statistic on the average one out of every 10 animals that it chases you have gets up and chases 10 gazelles it'll catch one but that's what it needs that's that's all it needs to carry it into the next one to the next one to the next one so that that's something to think about also it's just really about putting legs on your intention okay and i have one short little story from very very short i'm going to try to abbreviate this it's from the bible the healing at the pool sometime later jesus went up to jerusalem for one of the jewish festivals now they're in jerusalem near the sheep gate a pool which in aramaic is called bethesda and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades there's a great number of disabled people used uh, where they used to lie the blind the lame the paralyzed one was there he'd been an invalid for 38 years when jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time he asked him do you want to get well basically what is your intention do you want to get well sir the invalid explained i have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred while I am trying to get in, someone else goes ahead of me. Conditions he can't control. Then Jesus said to him, get up. Get up. <laughs> Pick up your mat and walk. At once, the man was cured. That's when he, he took action. His intention turned into action. Had he not taken that action, perhaps that was part of his healing. That was his faith. That was his faith turning into action. So anyway, I just want to leave you with that story tonight. Excellent. Thank you. What a great story. And thank you. Thank you for your time and attentiveness tonight. Thank you for letting us go a couple minutes over. Um, we appreciate your eyes. We appreciate your heart. I appreciate you taking the light and focusing it because lives will be changed because you're focused and that excitement for the product and excitement for this opportunity will help others be blessed and that'll help keep this legacy continuing because of course we are always just one generation away from this Mary Kay opportunity ending unless we are the voice in the heart of Mary Kay. So thank you guys all so very, very much. If you are willing to be a participant tomorrow night, if, you're, if it is on your schedule to be with us tomorrow night, and you are willing to be um, help share a product, please reach out to me. I am making a list so far. Two people have already stepped up to help make sure those nine spots are covered. So thank you for those. If you are willing, please just reach out to me that we can get that tic-tac-toe board put together. You guys have a blessed night. Those that I will see tomorrow night, see you tomorrow night. Those of you who are working at a different time, blessings. You guys have this. Have an awesome night, y'all.